I was reading through this lesson preparing my uh, second video here, and I ran across the guided practice, which I thought was kind of a neat question, actually, and gave a kind of a real-world example of why you might want to understand what the discriminant is and how it works. Um, the question here says that Emma and Braden own a factory that produces bike helmets, and their accountant says that their profit per year is given by a function, P for profit is equal to negative 0.003x squared plus 12x plus 27,760, where x is the number of helmets produced. And their goal is to make a profit of $40,000 this year. And the question is, is that possible? Well, what we're looking for then is to find how many helmets they'd have to make, x, so that their profit, p, was $40,000. So what we can do is we can write this out as 40,000, which is our profit that we want, is equal to negative 0.003 x squared plus 12x plus 27,760. And if we solve this for x, then we know how many helmets it would take to make that profit. So the easiest way to solve for x when you have a quadratic expression is to use the quadratic formula. So we want to move this 40,000 over to the other side so it's set equal to 0, and we can do that. So let's, let me change colors real quick. I think it'd be easier to see. So let's subtract 40,000 from both sides, and we'll get 0 equals negative 0.003x squared plus 12x minus 12,240. So now we can get our a, our b, and our c and plug them into the quadratic formula. So we'd have negative b or negative 12 plus or minus the square root of 12 squared, so 144 minus 4 times a, so negative 0 0.003, times c, so negative 12,240, all over 2a, so 2 times negative 0 0.003. So now we're going to start with the stuff under the square root here. We have 144 minus 4 times negative 0 0.003, so that's negative point 0, 1, 2. Is that right? 4 times 0 0.003. Yeah, negative 0 0.12 times negative 12,240. So times 12,240 is negative 146.88. So now under the root here, in this section here, we have 144 minus 146.88. Well, that's going to be negative 2.88, which says that we would be taking this square root of a negative under this, under this symbol right here. You can't get the square root of a negative. There is no number that would be the square root of 2.88, which means we can't solve this expression. If it's unsolvable, unsolvable, then there are no values for x, no real values for x, that would make this profit of $40,000 work. So there's no way they could actually make that $40,000 profit that year, no matter how many helmets they made. 